So a completely unexpected thing just happened. We won. We actually won. We won. And Carmilla's dead. Um, excuse me, but who the hell are you? Carmilla. I'm your new roommate, sweetheart. I know that she was a terrible roommate. The roommate from hell. She was my terrible roommate. God, what am I doing? Naive provincial girl. Entirely too tightly wound. I ought to know better. I'm Matska Belmont, chair of the Silas Board of Governors. And you're the meddling teenager who murdered my mother. You took on the Dean and the Anglerfish? You can totally go toe to toe with her. Do you even realize you're asking me to betray my sister? Maddie is part of who I am, Laura. You can't expect all of that to just evaporate because I love you. The story goes, you fall in love with a monster, and then they stop being all monstery. Do you think you're special? Silas's first Nellie Bly or Lois Lane? Do you think all the girls before you died because they weren't as smart or as brave? The only difference between you and a long line of dead girls is the fact Mercala decided to save you. I am so tired. Tired on like a cellular level. So nobody is going to yell at me about any of my decisions until I have had at least 45 minutes of sleep. You used to drive me nuts when I would do things for you that were so clearly only for you, and you'd say, I know you didn't just do it for me. She made the big gesture for me. Can we just pretend, just for tonight, that if I asked, we'd run away? We'd find some way to leave, and we'd just go somewhere without murders or sisters. We'd sleep in hotel rooms, and Never live in the same city twice. There'd be no one to fail or disappoint or save. It would just be you and me in love. That would be nice, wouldn't it?